Hey, this is Brett. Hope everybody's having a great day out there today, and I am super excited to go over this. Like new 2024 Chevrolet Corvette 3LT with the Z51 performance package and, they, and the Stingray R package. This is, of course, the new C8 body style. It is stock number 24J360A. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used sports car headquarters. This 2024 Chevrolet Corvette has the mid-engine 6.2 liter V8 gas engine and it puts out 490 horsepower, 465 foot-pounds of torque. It's paired up with the eight-speed automatic transmission. This car has been fully safety and inspected by our service shop per the state of Wisconsin inspection process. It has a fresh oil and filter change. All the fluids have been checked and topped off and it is 100% ready to go. This is a one owner clean title history, clean car facts from right here in Wisconsin. I'm gonna go all the way around in this video. Inside, start it up, take a look under the frunk and uh, we're gonna put the top down. I'm gonna show you how everything works on this thing and just give you the most accurate representation that I can of this car. Riptide Blue Metallic is the color, paint code is GJV, and I shoot all my videos in 4K. If you like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click the bell notifications, get updated on the videos I do each and every day and have access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle walkarounds on YouTube and stay current on our ever-changing and vast sports car inventory so you do not miss out on gems like this one. Comes with the 19-inch carbon flash uh, wheels which have a little bit of metal flake to them with the machine lips and it has Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires, one of the best sports tires you can buy. And they have just about all the tread left. They are 245, 35 ZR19s in the front. And you get the Z51 Corvette brakes on here. Front fender is in excellent condition. I didn't see any major scuffs or scrapes on there. It does have the LED headlamps, LED running lights. And the front bumper is in excellent condition. I didn't see any scuffs, scrapes or cracks on there. Looks really good. It does have the front bumper cameras and you can get into the front here. There's a button right under the driver's side headlight and that pops open like so. And this is where you fill up your washer fluid and your power steering and there's plenty of room in there. You get a 12 volt power point and looks like a couple little bags on the inside there has the all weather liners at the bottom as well. This goes down like so, and then it'll actually suck down in and latch. This is a dealer installed uh, logo on there, part of the R package. So the dealer, whoever sold this new installed that. And the hood is in excellent shape. I didn't see any scuffs or scrapes there. Passenger side front fender, excellent condition as well. And the passenger side front wheel, no scuffs or scrapes or curb rash on that wheel. Looks really good. And it should. This car's only got 500 some miles, but we always like going over everything. You can see all the metal flake in that paint, Riptide Blue, really a good looking color. And as you go down this side of this 2024 Chevrolet Corvette, take note of how clean the body is and how reflective and mirror-like that paint is. I take these HD videos, so if you are far away, or even if you're close by and you just cannot make the trip down, but you're still interested in purchasing the vehicle, you can see the car, hear the car, and have confidence in what you're looking at before you even get here. So when you do get here, there's absolutely no surprises and you can make a smart and informed buying decision from wherever you're at. If this video helps you make that buying decision, let your salesman know that you saw the video, it was helpful, and that Brett sent you. Very nice down that side. And this one does have the painted carbon flash nacelles on there. And uh, we're gonna look at the original window sticker here in just a little bit before we start it up. The back wheel's in excellent shape too. And these are 20s in the back. These are 30530 ZR20s. And uh, you can see you get the big brakes back here as well. And I'm not really sure if those are assist brakes or the parking brake maybe. That might be the electronic parking brake. I'm not really sure. Maybe you know in the comments below, let me know. This is the first C8 Corvette I've ever sat in, looked at, touched. So I'm just going by what I see here. You get the quad tipped dual rear exhaust, the backup parking sensors, the LED tail lamps, and the nice deck lid spoiler. Get a nice profile shot of that back end there. Looks really good. And to get into this trunk area, there's another button right there. 
And you get the all-weather liner back here as well. That shuts like so and sucks back down, just like all the Corvettes of the previous generations. And down the driver's side, just as nice as the passenger side, as you'd expect. Only 500 some miles on this car. Back wheel, excellent condition as well. Those must be helper brakes, because there's, there's one on this side too. I would imagine if that was just a parking brake, it'd only be on one side. You get the capless fuel fill, which is a really nice feature. And down the rest of the side of the car, very nice and clean. Now you do get heated power mirrors, blind spot monitoring, built-in directional signals. To get into the car, the door handle's actually right under here. And inside, you get the two-tone leather and cloth interior. This is tension blue and twilight blue. You also have some carbon fiber inserts on the backrest and the Cobra logo is embossed on the headrest there. Side curtain airbags, no rips or tears. So this part is leather. This part's leather, that's cloth. This is cloth. This is cloth. You get the riptide, or not riptide blue, but the tension blue seat belts, which are pretty neat. And you get the Stingray kick plate there. Bose performance series sound system, memory driver seat, power windows, power locks. Um, and then you have your hard top controls, power fold in mirrors, and those are working nicely. I always like showing both sides so you know that both sides are working. And then I'm just gonna put this seat back and we're gonna hop inside, check out all the stuff in here. It does have heads up display, power tilt and telescopic steering wheel. Hop inside. And you can see this one has the big LCD instrument cluster, 540 miles on this vehicle. And we'll start it up and check that out in just a minute. You get the flat bottom and the flat top steering wheel with the tension blue center stripe there. Multi-function steering wheel, adaptive cruise controls, uh, normal cruise controls, favorite menu, Bluetooth controls, heated steering wheel, information center controls and audio controls. You get the paddle shifters on there for that eight speed automatic transmission. This one has the Chevy infotainment system and it does have navigation capabilities. You have to have a subscription uh, to actually make that work. Here are all your different apps. It does have the performance data recorder on here. You get Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, you get your cameras on here. So you got your front bumper cameras and then the front camera right there. Uh, so you're not going to hit any curbs with your nice new Corvette backup parking uh, or backup cam, I should say, and then a wider view of the backup cam. And you can zoom in on that front bumper as well. So a lot of cool stuff you can do there. And then, of course, you have your audio controls, AM, FM, Sirius XM radio, Bluetooth, news, podcasts, Amazon Alexa, and USB hookups as well. So this is your different driving modes. You got your front camera button. You can raise the back end of the car and it has stability control. Here's your controls for your eight speed automatic transmission. I'm assuming if you press the M button, that'll put it into the paddle shift mode. You get your keyless entry with remote start, uh, frunk popper, trunk popper, and you can put this top down to get access to the engine area. Here are your climate controls. That's really kind of crazy. You have a complete barrier from you to the passenger, but you got your heated seats, cooled seats, and all your climate controls there as well. So as promised, here is the original window sticker. Let me put it up here just so it's a little bit easier to control the camera. So this is the original window sticker. Everything on your left here is your standard equipment. Feel free to pause it. And then options and pricing starts with the Z51 performance package, 6345. For that, you get the rear axle performance ratio, high performance tires, spoiler, uh, Z51 spoiler, the Z51 performance suspension, electronic limited slip differential, Z51 performance brakes, um, heavy duty cooling system, performance exhaust, front lift adjustable height memory, and carbon flash paint in the cells. Those are those things I just showed you. 
$12.95 for that. Wheels carbon flash painted with the aluminum edges, $9.95, and the bright red painted brake calipers are $6.95. Our appearance package is $6.95, which comes with those Stingray R theme center caps and the Corvette racing theme graphics, which are dealer installed. That's what DLR installed means. Composite rockers, dealer installed, $5.95. Competition sport bucket seats, $500, and the contoured liner protections in the front and trunk, $375. Um, and then the battery protection package, hundred bucks. Total MSRP on this car was hundred and two thousand nine hundred thirty-five dollars. So, pretty, pretty expensive uh, seat here. And you can see the miles per gallon, twenty-five highway. Wow, that's crazy. Sixteen city, nineteen average, and uh, you get four and five for the greenhouse and small ladies. So passenger side, glove box. To get into that glove box, there's a button right here. And that opens that up. Passenger side floor mat and seat are in excellent condition. Smells very clean inside this car. The inside of the hardtop is suede, or lined in suede, I should say. OnStar and SOS buttons, hazard lights, lane departure warning, uh, map lights up here, auto dimming mirror, and it is the rear view mirror camera. Once the vehicle's on, that'll work. And then your home link buttons. So let's put this hardtop down to do that. You just have to press this forward, I think. There we go. And then that'll go down like so. And it'll beep at you once the folding top motion is complete. And I'm gonna remote start this thing so we can listen to it start up because this thing sounds fantastic. And then we'll turn the lights on. Now you really can't see the engine bay in these things because there's a big cover on them. Uh, and the only way to see it is when this hard top piece is folded up and the hard top still in the car. So we'll have to redo that. I don't know, there's really not much to show you under there anyways. Um, so I think I'm just going to skip that, but let's lock it. And then you have to press the remote start twice. Sounds really good. Love those LED tail lamps as well. Really a good looking car. And uh, let's go check out those lights. They automatically turned on. Do have a couple things to show you left yet in the interior, but you can see these LED lights are very bright and of course working nicely. This car of course has all the remaining factory bumper to bumper warranty, factory powertrain warranty on it as well. So now that we're running, you gotta get in the car, have the key with you, put your foot on the brake, press the start button, and now the car is officially started. You can see you get a time and outside temperature display, your tire pressures, and no check engine lights or anything like that on there. Your heads up display is in the windshield there. And this is a video display of what's going on behind you. And I know it's, kind of weird you can turn that off and on um, when the top is down okay so when the top is down this is just a normal rear view mirror but once the top is up that becomes a video display uh, so why don't we put the top back up and do that just gotta pull that back so once this top is up I'm just gonna stop it so that we can look under the engine bay so now you can see that camera is working. And I'll show you what I mean. So there's a big plastic cover over the engine here. And then you have T15, Torx 15 bolts on here. I believe there's 18 of them to get that off. And this is where your emissions sticker is. And uh, this is where you check and change your oil, and this is where you check and change your uh, coolant. 
So we'll finish putting that top. I want to put it back down so that we can do a final walk around here. So it's kind of cool. You can stop that motion pretty much at any point, I think. And then continue it. So let's do a final walk around with the lights on and the top off. And I hope you enjoyed the video today. Thank you so much for checking it out. And more importantly, I hope we, you were able to verify the quality, condition, options, and of course cleanliness of this car all the way around. Really a cool car. My first C8 that I've seen, touched, looked at, and videoed. Let's do that final walk around here. And I would highly recommend this car from a quality and condition standpoint. I'd ship this one anywhere, California, Texas, New York, Florida, whoever's gonna get this car is going to absolutely love it. And to see more pictures of this car or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, sports cars, you name it, we got it. Go to that website right there, summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and sports car walkarounds on YouTube. And stay current on our ever-changing and vast sports car inventory so you do not miss out on gems like this one. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the Corvette videos I've ever done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and we're super excited to help you with this ultra-clean, like-new 2024 Chevrolet Corvette C8 3LT Z51 R package in Riptide Blue Metallic. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again, and have a great day.